Okay, today we have the introduction to Joni Mitchell's Cactus Flower. Sounds like this. Something like that, okay? Uh, now, the idea was this. She's got her guitar tuned in dad fad tuning, I guess you could call it. So the sixth string is down to D. The A string stays the same. The fifth string is the same. The fourth string is D. That's the same. The third string goes down a half step to F sharp, becomes a third of the chord. The second string goes down from B to A. And the first string goes down from E to D. So it's Strings are D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Now, then you capo it up four frets. You know, by the way, I saw an interview with Joni Mitchell once, and she said that when she was in a mood or something, she'd write a song, and she'd kind of just tune the guitar to whatever her mood was. Um, I think this tuning, I think she used this one a lot. Um, but um, at any rate, the idea is that. Now, so when we're starting... We take, there are going to be two chords. We take our third, our first finger and put it in the third fret of the third string and our second finger in the fourth fret of the fifth string. So we're going to take this chord, makes a uh, major seventh chord on the tonic, and then we go down two frets. So that makes a uh, uh, major chord on the four. Okay, now, it starts here. So, hold a second. One, two, three, and four. That's right. So, now watch this. The first beat is the open sixth string. One. Then we take our middle finger and ring fingers here, and I'm going to play the fourth and third string. So, the idea is if we've got... The four low strings, the way I'm going to play it is sort of classical style. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Now, in the long run of it, if I keep playing this song, I think I'm going to swap this up a little bit. But I think this is the easiest way to do it. I think it's how she, it's how she did it. I looked at the video of a live performance. So, one is open six string. Now, we've got our chord fingered. So one is open six string, and then the third and fourth strings with the uh, middle and ring finger. One, two, three is open six string, and a three. Index finger plays the fourth fret of the fifth string. Three, and, and then four. So really, by the way, it's got, upon listening to it a lot, it just got quarter notes all on the sixth string. That really anchors it. One, two, three, and four. That's our first bar, okay? Right out of that chord position. Second bar. On one, you play strings six, four, and three. And then two and three, and four, and. Okay, so what's going on there? So, on two, it's got the open sixth. Then your index finger plays the fourth fret of the fifth string. On three, there, you got your bass. Your middle finger plays the open fourth string. On four, your bass. And then on the and of four, the fourth fret of the fifth string again. So one, two, three, no, 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 excuse me. One, two, and three, and four, and. So here's what we have so far. So first bar, here's two bars. One, one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So it has that motion at the end there of like. It's really cool little. 
little syncopation, but it's not that hard because you're anchoring. All right, so that's two bars. So now you take your chord, you slide down two frets. So now we're in the second fret of the fifth string, first fret of the third string, and we start one. We've got the sixth string and the fifth string, thumb and index. And then on two, we've got the sixth string and the third string. So one, two, then three and. So three and is the bass note, the sixth string, and then we play the fifth string. And then four is the bass note. So one, two, three, and four. Now in the next bar, on one, we're going to play the sixth string, but now our middle and ring finger sneaks up and plays the two open strings at the top, the second and first string. One. So, one. And then we're going to have that syncopated figure. So, one, two, and three, and four, and. So watch this. One, string six, two, and one. And then two and is six, six string, fifth string, six string, third string on three and, six string, fifth string on four and, two and, three and, four and, one, two and, three and, four and. Okay, now here's the whole thing in slow motion. One, two, three and, four. Almost, that's not right. Anyway, that's how it goes. Oh, I wrote it out. And for those of you that read standard notation, okay? So the idea is I wrote it in D with a key signature, F sharp, G sharp. And then what you do is play it at the D position and then capo it on up. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. This is a super great guitar part, very tricky.